Hopefully everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on wherever you're tuning in in the world. My name is EQ and welcome to Alchemy Meta, where our main focus is to teach you more about crypto and how to become a better crypto trader overall. In preparation to our NFT release, Meta Mystic Superheroes, we wanted to create some introductory videos to get you set up with everything that you would need to mint your first Meta Mystic character. And before we get into the video, if you could take a second to throw a like on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Throw some love in the comments, that would all be greatly, greatly appreciated. Let's get this video rolling. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Google and type in MetaMask or you can just go to MetaMask.io. Make sure you're going to the right website because there are a lot of fake and scam accounts that will take your information and end up taking your NFTs later on down the road or just your money in MetaMask in general. Now once you go to the MetaMask website, all you got to do is hit the download for Chrome button. It'll take you to the extension website. You can add to Chrome. This will start to download the extension. Again, make sure that you're downloading it from a verified source. This is from MetaMask.io, which matches the website that we were just on. And when MetaMask is installed, you should see something like this. Now if you already have a MetaMask wallet, you can import your wallet based on your recovery phrase if you have that set up. If not, you can just create a brand new wallet. Next thing you want to do is set up a password. Agree to the terms of service. And they're going to have a quick little video that I would highly recommend watching that's going to explain how to secure your wallet and to make sure you're securing your secret recovery phrase the right way. This is probably the most important part of creating these wallets and making sure you save these seed phrases. It's going to be a 12 word phrase that helps you recover this account so that you can access it from any device. So this is very important to watch and make sure you're paying attention during this process and that you save this recovery phrase in a safe place. For example, don't save it on the cloud or on Google or in your email or something like that because those are vulnerable, those can be hacked, and then someone can get that recovery phrase and get access to all your crypto. Now when you click this, it's going to tell you the recovery phrase. You're going to want to save this and put this in a safe location. And they're going to ask you to confirm by going through and using your recovery phrase to verify that you did actually save it. And once you enter the whole phrase, hit confirm. It'll verify that you actually did save the recovery phrase and that you are ready to actually use MetaMask. And now you officially have a MetaMask account ready that's going to be linked directly to the Ethereum mainnet. Now that we have MetaMask set up and we can see the Ethereum network, you might notice that there are no other networks. So the next step is actually adding the Polygon mainnet or the Polygon Matic network so that it's accessible on MetaMask. So for this, you can either go to Google, type in Polygon Matic mainnet and look for the docs.polygon.technology website. Or you can just type that into the browser. I'm going to leave that in the comment section as well and in the description of the video so you can get easier access to the links. Now, once you're on docs.polygon.technology, there's two ways that you can go about this, the easier way or the manual way. And we're going to go over both of those options. So the easier way, if you scroll down and you see navigate to polyscan.com, you can click this. It's going to take you to polyscan.com. This is the official POS chain explorer for Polygon. This is the actual verified website. So any sort of transaction that goes through Polygon is going to be recorded and have a receipt through the blockchain through Polyscan. You can see all the transactions that are currently going through on Polygon Matic at this exact moment. But all you got to do is scroll down and in the bottom right corner you'll see Add Polygon Network. When you click this button, you're going to see it's going to connect with your MetaMask wallet. And you're going to have this information here to be verified. The Matic mainnet, PolygonRPC.com, and 137. You can view all the details and see the block explorer is Polyscan.com. This is all from the actual verified website, so you can go ahead and approve this, switch network, and you'll notice that once you go back to your MetaMask app, you're now going to have Matic available, and you're going to see Matic on this list, so I can swap between the Ethereum mainnet and the Matic mainnet. It's going to run through the same wallet address, so it doesn't matter which one you copy. And this is how you would get access to the Matic mainnet through MetaMask. Now the other way to add the Polygon mainnet is the manual way. So if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see the information here. I can go to the MetaMask browser. I go to the mainnet, go to add network, and you just want to input this information that you would get from this website. So just copy and paste all of this information. You can easily copy and paste it up here. So Polygon mainnet, this and go through this whole process and you'll be able to manually add Polygon Matic as an ecosystem through MetaMask. Now once you put all the information, it should look something like this. It's telling me the URL is currently used, but that's because I'm already on the Matic mainnet and it's saved. But if you don't have it already saved on your MetaMask, you'll have the save option and then it'll add the Matic mainnet for you. This is going to wrap up our video on how to add MetaMask and how to add the Polygon Matic mainnet to your MetaMask wallet. 
If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to drop a comment and let me know below and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Or you can jump into our Discord group. I'll leave that link in the description as well. If you found anything in this video useful, please make sure to drop a like. Follow us if you're not following us already. Share this video. That'd be greatly appreciated. We appreciate for being here and taking the time to watch this video and we'll catch you on the next one.